This is a video series on Embedded Linux with Yakta project. Subscribe to the channel to learn more about embedded systems and related technologies. In this video, we will learn more about core images, which we can also call as Linux distribution blueprints. So watch till the end. Core images, Linux distribution blueprints. The Open Embedded Core and other Yakta project layers include several example images. These images offer root file system configuration for physical Linux OS stack. They range from very basic images that just boot a device to a command line prompt to images that include X window system, that's X11, server and a graphical user interface. These reference images are called the core images because the name of their respective recipe begins with the core image. You can easily locate the recipes for the core images with a defined command from within the installation directory of your build system. So in my case, this is uh, dev docto IoT Pokey. This is where I have installed. Let me open the terminal. Then I will go to LCD to dev docto project IoT. So I can paste this command this basically finds everything that is ends with star bb in all of the different meta star and recipe star directories so you can see that there are so many different the core images or the recipes that we have so in this video, we will uh, we will try to learn what each does in an, in a very high level. So let's get started. You can look at the core images as Linux distribution blueprints from which you can derive your own distribution by extending them. All core image recipes inherit core image class, which itself inherits from the image class. So we can see the core image BB class. I opened it for you. So this is basically located under Pokey Meta classes, and that you can see the core image dot baby class file. So this basically uh, is a class file which inherits the image class. So all images set the image install variable to specify what packages are to be installed into the root folder. So image install is a list of packages and package groups. Package groups are collection of packages. Defining package groups removes the need to potentially list hundreds of different hundreds of single packages in the image install variable. If you see this BB class file, it has something called image, the core image install. Core image base installs. This is kind of uh, lists the different package or the image, uh, different package groups called core boot and base extended and core extra Im image extra install. This this is something which uh, we can list different packages that we want as a part of the the core image. And here you can see that image install. This is the variable to which holds all the different images that needs to be added to this image. So in our case, in this case, it's the core image boot package group and base extended package group. So these package groups contain different uh, packages grouped together. So that kind of makes uh, managing these groups easy. So otherwise, a lot of uh, different packages will be listed here. So image recipes either explicitly set image install or extend itself, extend its default value provided by the core image class, which installs two, which installs the two package groups, package group core boot and package group base extend. The default creates a working root file system that boots and 
to the console. So let's have a closer look at various core images. The core image minimal. So this is the most basic image allowing a device to boot to a Linux command line log login. So login and the command line interpreter are provided by BusyBox. So this is a very basic image. So it just gives you a Linux terminal and some minimal uh, applications within that. The next image is the core image minimal in its RAMFS. This image is essentially the same as core image minimal for the Linux kernel that includes a RAM based init root file system. So it just contains the RAM init FS, it's init RAMFS. That's the extra. The core image tiny init RAMFS. The tiny image capable of booting a device. The kernel includes the minimal RAM based init initial root file system or the init RAMFS, which finds the first init program more efficiently. The core image tiny init RAMFS doesn't actually generate an image, but rather generates a boot and root FS artifacts that can be subsequently picked up by the external image generation tools such as WIC WIC. So this does not, the core image tiny in terms of this does not create an image, it creates an artifacts called boot and root fs. These will be used by the external image tool generation tools such as WIC. The next is core image minimal MTD utils. Based on core image minimal, this image also includes user space tools to interact with the memory technology device called MTD subsystem in the Linux kernel to perform ap operations on flash memory devices. So this basically includes MTD utils on the top of core image minimal. So core image minimal dev. So based on core image minimal, this image also includes all development packages, header files, etc. for all the packages installed in the boot in the root file system. If deployed on target together with a native target toolchain, it allows software development on target. Together with the toolchain, it can be used as a software development on the development host. This is basically a core image minimal dev. So it provides the development environment for, for both on the target for the native uh, compilation, native development, but also can be used as a uh, SDK in some sense. Then core image RT. Based on core image minimal, this image target builds the Yocto project real-time kernel and includes a test suite and tools for real-time applications. So this core image RT is basically real-time kernel. Then the core image RT SDK, in addition to core image RT, this image includes the system development kit or the software development kit consisting of the development packages for all packages installed. Development tools such as compilers, assemblers, and linkers, as well as performance test tools and Linux kernel development packages. This image allows for software development on target. So this basically generates an SDK. Core image base, essentially a core image minimal. This image also includes middleware and application packages to support a variety of hardware such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound, and serial ports. The target device must include necessary hardware components and Linux kernel must provide the device driver for them. So this basically supports the, the variety of hardware that you would want to include. The core image full command line. This minimal image adds typical Linux command line tools such as bash, ACL, ATTR, grep, SED, tar, and many more to root file system. 
the core image x11 so this basic graphical image includes x11 server and x11 terminal application so core image sato this image provides x11 support that includes the open and sato user experience for mobile devices besides the sato screen manager the image also provides several applications using sato theme such as terminal editor file manager and several games the core image sato dev this image is the same as core image sato but also includes the development packages for all packages installed in the root file system next we have core image sato sdk in addition to core image sato dev this image includes development tools such as compilers assemblers linkers as well as performance test tools and linux kernel development packages core image weston this image uses weston instead of x11 weston is a competitor that uses island protocol and implementation to exchange data with its clients this image also includes variant capable terminal program so core image western sdk so this basically uh, contains in addition to core image western it includes an sdk consisting of development packages for all packages installed development tools such as compilers assemblers and linkers as well as performance test tools and Linux kernel development packages. This image allows for software development on the target as well. Score image multi-lib example. This image is an example of the support of multiple libraries, typically 32-bit support on another 64-bit system. The image is based on core image and adds the desired multi-lib packages to image install. The core image test controller. A test controller image to be deployed on a target useful for testing other images using the OEQA runtime tests. Then core image test controller in TramFS. This image is essentially a core image test controller, but with the Linux kernel that includes a RAM-based init root file system. Core image ptest all includes a ptest package and a core image ptest fast includes the ptest package with fast execution times to allow for more automated qa the core image kernel dev a development image that builds kernel and packages that are sensitive to kernel updates and version changes now the next thing is build appliance image underscore 15.0.0.0 an image containing the build system that you can boot and run using either virtual box or vm where player or vm box station so this basically built for vms oe self image sorry oe self test image an image used during oe self tests so wick image minimal an example of partition image so these are the different images that comes with the yocto project so uh, what is important to understand is we don't have to know all of this in detail but what we need to know or what we need to understand is that uh, for your application you need to choose the right image as a base and then you can extend this base image with the desired with whatever uh, the packages that you need and then create an sdk sorry yeah of course create an sdk as well as the image that you want so you can easily extend them extend these images by adding packages and package groups to image install so as we saw in the core images so images can only be extended not shrunk so to build an image with less functionality you have to start from a smaller core image and add only the packages you need there is no simple way to remove packages the majority of them are added through package groups and you would need to split up 
the package group if you do not want to install a package included with it of course if you are removing a package you also have to remove any other package that depends on this so the gist of it is that uh, if you want to add any a package you take a minimal image and then add other packages that you need for your application for your uh, Linux distribution that you want to have. So this is can be done using the image install, appending whatever the package that you want to image install, and then uh, uh, creating the the Linux distribution that you want. So that's it for this episode. So in the next episode, we will see so how to extend these images. Uh, by adding uh, different uh, packages that we want so there are two ways to do it so we will see that in the next episode uh, for more you can watch my other videos on this to learn more about Yocto and Embedded Linux thanks for watching if this video helped you in learning please like the video and subscribe to the channel also Share with anyone who is interested to learn more about embedded Linux and Internet of Things. Leave a comment below for any feedback or discussion.